I got the idea for the table about three years ago. We went to, to see a prototype table at the University of Illinois in Chicago where the engineering department had built a table, but it was too clumsy. It was six screens and six computers, and uh, it wasn't what I had in mind. So I went back a, a year later, and they had a modified version of it with a single monitor. It wasn't exactly what we wanted, but we discussed what we, our needs would be, and I asked if they would build one for us, and they said no. We came back, fil filed a couple of applications for a grant, uh, and then finally found a Natamaj to build exactly what we wanted. We had a trial run last week uh, with this new uh, course and the new set of students. And today is the first time we're actually using it for the purpose of actual teaching. And our uh, topic is upper limb. It's a, it's a wonderful tool, I think, to highlight some of the things in anatomy that we don't usually see, such as being able to see the vessels, arteries, and veins uh, with bones and have the muscles disappear, for example. Uh, so putting different structures in various combinations uh, is something that uh, doesn't happen in the normal cadaver. This course is uh, a first-time offering. It's uh, BioE51. It's uh, Anatomy for Bioengineers. It's an undergraduate course, and we have a variety of students, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, most of them majoring in bioengineering. We divide the students into small groups, and we have several stations, including stations that have uh, pre-dissected prosections and stations that have stereoscopic images and the stations with the virtual dissecting table. We have a variety of tools on hand now and I think each tool offers something unique. My own feeling is that the future will be some form of a hybrid educational model. One of our attempts is try to define that at, as best as we can in terms of which types of anatomical learning pieces are best learned from a particular uh, format of uh, educational tool. Uh, the, the other side of the coin is that different learners are different and so some learners might prefer one method over another and if we offer the variety of learning tools then we're best serving the interests of maximum number of learners. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.